All right, welcome Utah, head coach Lynn Roberts, and we've got Alyssa Peely and Kennedy McQueen. Coach, we will let you open, please. Um, thank you guys for being here. Uh, what a hard fought game. Um, incredibly physical. I think that's the most physical game I've ever been a part of. Um, but I want to congratulate UCLA. Uh, you know, they, they made plays. I felt like we were right there and, you know, they hit a couple big shots. Um, but they play hard. They're disciplined. They're the whole package. And, you know, they, they have the ability to win a national championship for sure. And um, so a lot of respect for them. And, you know, they, they make things hard, but um, I'm incredibly proud of my team. I thought we battled and played as hard as we physically could. Um, we never quit. Uh, you know, they hit kind of end of shot clock daggers, um, and we missed some of those. We left some points on the table, free throws, and missed some layups, particularly in the first half. Um, but, you know, to, to against that pressure and the physicality, I'll emphasize that, to only have eight turnovers, um, it's pretty impressive. Uh, you know, that eliminates their ability to get out and run. Um, I thought Peely did a, just a phenomenal job on Betts. Um, you know, Betts is, is a challenge. You have to game plan for her. Um, I thought our game plan was effective. You know, we held her to eight points. Um, but so much of that has to do with Alyssa's just determination there. Um, but, you know, all of our guys, Inesh, I mean, she had two injuries, um, came back, just the toughness. Jenna, again, got the third game where she's needed to face glue or stitches. Um, you know, and none of those were <laughs> whistles. It's kind of remarkable. Um, and, you know, Kennedy, I thought, played her tail off. You know, she just did a tremendous job. All of them, Maddie, Jenna, the guys off the bench, just I'm proud of our team. And what I just told them in the locker room is, um, you know, the tournament's over, but our season isn't. And our, our goals in the NCAA tournament are still in front of us. And, um, you know, in our style of play, and our, I have such confidence in these guys, we get a couple weeks to rest and heal up. We're pretty banged up, and particularly after tonight. Uh, so I'm excited for that. And, and we'll get healthy, get rested, and get hungry to take it to the NCAA tournament. Thank you. Questions? Right here in the front. Yeah, Coach, if you could just talk about the game plan against Lauren Betts, it seemed like you were really throwing a lot of bodies at her, sometimes two, three, even four players kind of <laughs> flashing at her while she had the ball in the post. If you could just talk about, you talked about P. Lee's ability to stop her, but just the overall game plan against her. Yeah, well, we wanted to, to you know, and, and Peely is, she, you know, the, the, Lauren has, I don't know, 10 inches on less, eight inches. <laughs> um, but, you know, Alyssa is stronger than anybody out there. So the, the game plan was for Alyssa to just, you know, hold her ground, basically. And we used the term sumo, like a sumo wrestler. Low man wins and, and uh, just push so that Lauren catches it as far out as possible. And then we just, on the, on the pass, we were sending someone to double. And then the other three, it was three on four, and they just had to scramble. Um, and we got burned a couple times, but for the most part, it was pretty effective. Back row. Sabrina Merchant, The Athletic. Uh, Lynn, I imagine it was a very challenging game to play through. Um, mm -hmm. And you guys exhibited, obviously, a lot of toughness. I'm curious, like... Did you know you had that toughness at the beginning of the year? Or is it something that sort of developed with everything you've had to go through? I think that's part of our culture. You know, I, like we, we don't ever get the benefit of the doubt, whether it's in rankings or 50-50 calls or um, we never get the benefit of the doubt. So you have to have a little edge. Um, and that's part of who we are. I think that's our football team's the same way. You know, like it's we're going to out tough you you know things things are never given to us and so we earn it and I think we recruit players that buy into that so I think 
because of that, we've been able to endure all the adversity we have faced, all the injuries that we've had, um, all the tough things we've had. But let's not take away the fact that this team has beaten four top 10 teams. We've won 22 games. Our net is not seven, nine. Like, that's pretty dang good. But that's not the narrative, right? The narrative isn't about what we've done. It's about, oh, what's, you know, what's the, we've lost, you know, in, uh, Izzy Palmer and, and Gianna Neepkins, that was 34 points a game. And we still have done well. So I would like the narrative around this team to change a little bit. I think we deserve it. They deserve it. Um, it kind of ticks me off that, you know, what our body of work and the narrative is like, oh, man, yeah. It's like, I don't buy that. Back row. Uh, hi, Coach Tia Reed, Blaze Radio. A lot of calls that mm -hmm. um, the bench and fans weren't necessarily very happy with in a game mm -hmm. like this where – um, it feels like things aren't necessarily going your way. How do you keep your team locked in and focused on winning and not letting the emotions get out of hand? Well, I think that's the toughness piece. And, you know, I tell the kids, let me worry about the officiating. Um, they just need to play. But, you know, like I just said, we know that's what it's going to be. It's been like that all year. It's been like that for years. That's the way it goes. So we... Um, fight, scrap, claw, if that means me getting angry, that's what it takes. But I don't think the players ever hiccuped. They just kept coming back. And that's our culture. That's who these players are. In the back row. Uh, for Kennedy and Alyssa, uh, Alexa Philpoo, ESPN. Could you kind of elaborate on what Coach was talking about before with just like the toughness that you were able to use to withstand this, you know, this tough stretch with the injuries and to be able to even tonight just come through with a really, you know, gritty effort. Like what, what's allowed you guys to do that? How do you guys stay together in these moments? Yeah, I think Coach Rob said it really well. Um, our coaching staff does a great job at recruiting players that come in, um, see our picture that we want to paint here at the University of Utah. And um, so they do a great job from the moment recruits step on campus. And then um, when you recruit a whole team full of those type of players, um, we just can't get caught up in those little things like calls. And we know that. And throughout the entire game, we were sticking close together and moving on to the next play. Um, just worry about what we can control. Um, so yeah, I just think at the end of the day, we're a team that doesn't care who we're not out to get mine. Um, and we just want to be successful. And I think that's what um, you saw tonight and just that toughness piece. Yeah, to go off of that, I just think, like, this whole season we faced so many things, like injuries to, you know, like, um, just like concussions and things like that, and players just being out for a short amount of time. So um, I think we're just used to just bouncing back, and, um, you know, that's just what this team does. And like Kennedy said, that's the type of players that coach recruits, and that's the culture at Utah. So um, I'm just lucky to, to be a part of that. And... It's just, it's a lot more fun and, and I think easier to buy in when you have a team full of players who, who think the same way. Jeff Metcalf. Hi, Jeff Metcalf, Pac-12 Hotline. Um, because you had to run so many people at bets, did that open up Duke Leach a little more to do what she did tonight? And then also, could, if you guys could all talk about kind of turning the page and going, you had a successful uh, NCAA <laughs> tournament last year. And so you guys know kind of what turning the pages and moving on to face teams that aren't as familiar with you is what you're seeing here. Um, so can you just talk a little bit about going forward now toward that? Well, I'll answer the Duglich question. I think she had a great game. And, and she hit big shots, like I said, kind of dagger shots. Um, and you know she's a good player. And, and that, that was their X factor tonight. Um, when you're going to you know, blitz bets, you have to pick your poison, right? So I thought we did a pretty dang good job of scrambling. Um, some of those shots she hit were deep. And, uh, and you know, you, like laws of percentages. I think coming into this game, she was shooting 29% from three. She made three for four. So you have to tip your hat to the kid for making the plays when that was the shot they could get. You know, good offense beats good defense. Um, in terms of turning the page, um, you know, 
I do think in this, I told them this in the locker room too, and I think every team in this conference that goes on to the NCAA tournament is in the same boat in terms of we know each other so well, conference opponents. We know their play calls. You know, Corey's calling something, and I'm like, hey, this is what they're doing, and all our players are doing it. They're doing the same thing when we call something. Like, they know every player's weakness, strength, you know, what our team's good at. What You know, just you play somebody so many times, you kind of figure out what it takes. Um, so going into the NCAA tournament, it's, it's kind of exciting to play, you know, uh, somebody different. It's been two and a half months of just kind of beating the crap out of each other, all 12 of us, you know, all 12 teams. Um, but iron sharpens iron. I think every team, that's why we do so well in the tournament. So I think our style of play is unique. Um, I think it presents challenges that if you haven't faced it, you're not used to it. Um, so I think that is an advantage of ours in the NCAA tournament. Um, I don't know how you guys feel, but I feel like I'm monopolizing this. You too. Yeah, I just feel like the Pac-12 gets us battle tested. Um, we learned throughout the season when we're at our best, when we're at our worst. And um, I was really proud of our effort tonight and just the urgency part of it. And when we play like that, we're a really hard team to beat. Um, we came up short tonight. But um, yeah, definitely proud of our fight. And then just our run that we made last season um, at the NCAA tournament, I think that just gave us experience moving forward. Um, and we're ready to get back to work. We'll rest up and get back to work. And I have full confidence in this group going forward in March. Well I'll said. Take, well said. <laughs> we'll take one last question in the back. <laughs> um, Lynn, this is for you, but if either two of you want to address it as well, what, what, what kind of goes through your head when you see Inesh go down twice mm -hmm. and then get back up and go in and, and make those hustle plays and, and just embody that toughness that you were talking about? Yeah. Uh, to be completely candid, the first one was down at the other end. Um, I didn't see it, and so I was – as I was walking out there, you know, it's that whole thing of like, please don't let it be a knee or something like that. So there was a sense of relief when she said it was her ankle. And that's weird, but, um, and, you know, she, she was, it, it hurt, uh, but I went over to the sideline after she was, you know, and she's like, I'll be fine. I'm going to go back in. I'm going to go back in. Um, and then, you know, again, she goes down. Poor thing. Um, so that, I think, is a great example of what our team's about. And it's for, you know, I don't know how many people could do that, you know. Um, so I'm proud of her. And, you know, again, Jenna, that's the third time she's had to have her face put back together. Um, bless her heart. And she came right back in. Like, these guys are just tough. And I, I will win or lose with these guys any day. That's why they call her the mosquito. No matter how many times you try to swat it away, it just keeps coming back. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah, the yeah. mosquito. There's like people with like at, at, at fans have like mosquito t-shirts, uh, t-shirts, sweatshirts. That's why in the yeah, it's she doesn't love the name, which makes it stick that. more. Did one of you come up with that? No, our what was it? The announcer. announcer? Right oh yeah, our, our PA announcer. Um, so it's stuck. People love it, and, and she's a fan favorite for that. Like just how hard she plays and the motor she has. You know, she plays 40 minutes unless she's injured. Um, so I'm grateful and thankful that she's okay. Um, she'll need an ice bath, but she'll, she'll be back. I think that's a good note to close on. <laughs> yeah, and again, I do want to congratulate UCLA. They, they played tremendous. They played hard. So, um, you know, congratulations to them, and, and I think they have what it takes. Um, just a lot of respect for them, and just want to make sure that message gets sent. Very good job by them. Thank you. Thank you, Thank guys. You. Huh?